everyone welcome to our channel knowledge of friends subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for the latest update today we want to start with your cvnst which has been the computer based numerical and statistical technique that we have to cover up the 27th class here we are in the last classes we had done your 26 classes in that we had done even the unit one unit one is your computer arithmetic uh, statistical and numerical and statistical technique that what we had covered up here in that we had done your basic math and second method your uh, newton raphson method regular fallacy method many more we had done as well and on the same pieces we talk about it so yes we had uh, started in the last classes that has been the unit 2 which we had started that has been the name of the unit is your interpolations and a uh, curve fitting in that we had done many of the questions and, and now we'll be dealing with uh, uh, here that is uh, the questions we have to start with in the unit 2 so before starting with this it's a huge request to all the viewers to please go ahead with like share and subscribe our channel so that many and maximum people can get the information at once and everything you can also enjoy the video as well so we'll start with this the question of the session the question is find the unique polynomial of degree 2 or less such that f0 is equals to 1 f1 equals to 3 f3 equals to 55 using newton's divided differences interpolation Find the unique polynomial of degree two or loss less such that F zero equals to one, F one equals to three, F three equals to fifty five using Newton divided difference interpolation. Let's go ahead for the finding it out. It so we will be prepared the divided differences table that to be shown here. y equals to fx y equals to xn xn minus 1 y xn xn minus 1 xn minus 2 or 0 for 1 And for three, that we talk about it. So, for the same, we'll go ahead, it will be one y is one, comma zero equals to two. This is three y 3 comma 1 equals to 26 and y 3 comma 1 comma 0 equals to 8 when it is x equals to z3 y equals to 5 55 that we get as an answer from the equation it is divided a differences interpolations formula that is to be given as we'll put the value here which has been the yr equals to y0 plus x r minus x zero y x r x zero plus x r minus x zero x r minus x one y x two x one x zero plus putting the value of x and divided differences we get x r equals to one plus x r minus zero two plus x r minus 0 x r plus m minus 1 8 equals to x 
एक्स आर टू माइनस सिक्स एक्स आर प्लस वन सो दस द पॉलिनोम एफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू एट एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स एक्स प्लस वन दैट वी गेट एज एन आंसर या Now we go ahead for the next question that we talk about it, which is being the another important question in terms that what we'll have to uh, find it out, which is being the another important question here. The question is, a chromal alumel thermocouple gives the following output for the rise in temperature. The uh, uh, we have a table for the temperature in uh, degrees Celsius and output in. Uh, m volt so you have to find uh, the output of the thermocouple for the temperature of 45 degrees celsius using the neutral divided differences interpolation so we go ahead for the same a chromal alumel thermocouple gives the following output for rise in temperature that has been the temperature in degree celsius and output in M volt, which is being the zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. This is zero point zero, zero point four, zero point eight, one point two, one point six one, and two point zero two. That we get here. So find the output. You have to find the output here. of thermocouple for temperature of 45 degrees celsius using newtons divided difference interpolation so let us rewrite the table as to be follows here and so that we'll get to know about the values and that uh, what we'll have to talk about it so here we go ahead for the same temperature in degree celsius x and output in m volt y this is x0 equals to 0 x1 equals to 10 x2 equals to 20 x3 equals to 30 x4 equals to 40 and x5 equals to 50 this is y0 equals to 0, y1 equals to 0 0.4, y2 equals to 0 0.8, y3 equals to 1.2, y4 equals to 1.61, y5 equals to 2.02. .02. So we find it out for the same here. And that what we have to go ahead for the same. So uh, thus the first order divided differences that can be calculated here by the following method y x1 x0 equals to y1 minus y0 upon x1 minus x0 which will give you 0.4 minus 0 upon 10 minus 1 a 0 it will give you 0 0.04 now y 
x2 x1 equals to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 equals to 0 0.8 minus 0 0.4 upon 20 minus 10 equals to 0 0.04 Next we go ahead y x3 x2 equals to y3 minus y2 upon x3 minus x2 equals to 1.2 minus 0 0.8 upon 30 minus 20 equals to 0 0.04 y x4 my x3 equals to y4 minus y3 upon x4 minus x3 equals to 1.61 minus 1.2 upon 40 minus 30 which will give you 0 0.041 y x5 minus uh, x5 x4 equals to y5 minus y4 upon x5 minus x4 equals to 2.02 minus 1.61 upon 50 minus 40 which is equals to 0 0.041 that we get here now we further go ahead now the second order divided differences that can be calculated to be as follows and that will go ahead further For the second order divided differences that can be calculated here is y x2 x1 x0 equals to y x2 x1 minus y x1 x2 upon x2 minus x0 equals to 0 0.04 minus 0 0.04 upon 20 minus 0 equals to 0 y x 3 ma x 2 x 1 equals to y x 3 x 2 minus y x 2 x 1 upon x 3 minus x 1 equals to 0 0.04 minus 0 0.04 upon 30 minus 10 which is equals to 0 because each of side minus over it will give you the 0 here denominator me kya bachta it does not uh, exist when the numerator is 0 next we go ahead y x4 x3 x2 equals to y x4 x3 minus y x3 x2 upon x4 minus x2 equals to 0 0.041 minus 0 0.04 upon 40 minus 20 which is equals to 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 y x5 x4 x3 equals to y x5 x4 minus y x4 x3 upon x5 minus x3 which is equals to 0 0.041 minus 0 0.041 upon 50 minus 30 which will give you the value that has been the 0 here now further we go ahead that has been the third order divided differences that can be calculated here so for that y x3 x2 x1 x0 equals to y x3 x2 x1 minus y x2 x1 x0 upon x3 minus x0 which is equals to 0 minus 0 upon 30 minus 0 which is equals to 0 y x4 x3 x2 x1 equals to y x4 x3 x2 x2 minus y x3 x2 x1 upon x4 minus x1 equals to 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 minus 0 upon 40 minus 10 which is equals to 
1.66667 into 10 to the power minus 6. Now, y, x5, x4, x3, x2 equals to y, x5, x4, x3 minus y, x4, x3, x2 upon x3 minus x2 equals to 0 minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 upon 50 minus 20 which will give you 1.6667 into 10 to the power minus 6 that we get here that what we'll have to talk about it so for the same we go ahead here and which is the uh, that what we'll have to talk about it so for the same and uh, that is being 1.6667 uh, into 10 to the power minus 6 itself now we find out for the fourth order divided differences that can be calculated here so for the same we go ahead here for the fourth order it will be y x4 x3 x2 x1 x0 equals to y x4 x3 x2 x1 minus y x3 x2 x1 x0 upon x4 minus x0 which will give you 1.66667 into 10 to the power minus 6 minus 0 upon 40 minus 0 give you 4.16667 into 10 to the power minus 8 so for the same we go ahead further which is been y x5 x4 x3 x2 x1 equals to y x5 x4 x3 x2 minus y x4 x3 x2 x1 upon x5 minus x1 so that will give you the value minus 1.66667 into 10 to the power minus 6 minus 1.666 and 67 into 10 to the power minus 6 whole upon that we have 50 minus 10 will give you a minus 8.3335 into 10 to the power minus 8. Now for the fifth order divided differences that we have to come uh, uh, find it out x5, x4, x3, x2, x1, x0 equals to y x5 x4 x3 x2 x1 it will be take long so it will take a time so when you're going to solve it out and when you calculation when you practice more and more then of course you will be having your speed otherwise you will take a time or uh, even you can say that uh, if you have not practiced the question and you have not gone through the question how you have to implement so of course you will take more than 45 minutes for a one single question because this is being the long question when you are finding it out the fifth order divided differences you know so of course you will be taking a time so you have to practice more and more so for the same it will be your y x4 x3 x2 x1 x0 upon that is being x5 minus x0 equals to minus 8.5 three 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 five into ten to the power minus eight minus four point one six 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 seven into ten to the power minus eight whole upon fifty minus zero it will give you minus two point five into ten to the power minus nine so from the equation we can uh, write newton's divided differences formula up to the fifth differences as follows which will be you are we'll use in the formula here yr equals to y0 plus xr minus x0 that is in the r0 
then y x1 x0 then plus xr minus x0 xr minus x1 y x2 x1 x0 plus xr minus x0 xr minus x1 xr minus x2 y x3 x2 x1 x0 plus xr minus x0 xr minus x1 xr minus x3 y x4 x3 x2 x1 x0 plus xr minus x0 xr minus x1 xr minus x2 xr minus x3 xr minus x4 y x5 x4 x3 x2 x1 x0 so putting the values in this equation we get xr equals to 45 so we get yr equals to 0 plus 45 minus 0 0 0.04 plus 45 minus 0 45 minus 10 0 plus 45 minus 0 45 minus 10 45 minus 20 into 0 plus 45 minus 0 45 minus 10 45 minus 20 45 minus 30 and 4.16667 into 10 to the power minus 8 plus 45 minus 0 45 minus 10 then 45 minus 20 45 minus 30 then 45 4.1667 into 10 to the power minus 8 then it will give you 0 plus 1.8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 0.24609 which will be minus from 7.3182 uh, into 10 to the power minus 3 will give you the value 1.8319918 so that's the temperature at 45 degrees celsius the output voltage of the thermocouple will be 1.8319918 m volt that we get as an answer here so now we're going to end up with this and that will discuss the rest of the uh, questions in the next coming class and that has been the important one of course and before ending it up it's a huge request to all the viewers to please go ahead with like share and subscribe to our channel so that many and maximum people can get the information at once and everything you can also enjoy the video as well other than uh, this is the other than Cassini and ST which has been the computer theory schematical and statistical technique we have covered up the chemistry for class 11th and 12th for uh, that has been uh, the part one of each so we had done that that we had done and lastly we had done for class 12 chemistry where we had done unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 unit 4 unit 5 unit 6 unit 7 unit 8 unit 9 as well as the conversions the garrisons anti-log after talking about that we had done sociology and software engineering we are done with the yeah, we are dealing with ER diagrams, we are dealing with English vocabulary, we are dealing with, uh, we'll surely be started with uh, physics part 1 of chemistry, uh, of NCRT for class 11.
that was surely been starting with this discussing about it and other than that we had started with quantitative aptitude in that we had started with arithmetical ability where we had done your operations and numbers as safe and unsafe of numbers as much fraction simplification sparrows and cube roots problems and numbers problems and ages resonances averages profit and loss that has been the 11th topic and after completing that we have have to cover up the many more and in terms of reasoning we had done verbal reasoning in verbal reasoning we had done general mental and eating logic reasoning in non verbal reasoning we had done your cities and logic classification analytical reasoning manual image water image embedded figure completion of incomplete pattern figure matrix paper folding paper cutting rule detection grouping of identical figures cubes and dice draw situation construction of squares and triangle cake formation analysis and practice question set as well in terms of cbnst which is been the computer based numerical and statistical technique where in that we had covered up unit 1 which is been the name of the unit is a computer arithmetic er uh, errors and rules of equation in that we had covered up uh, the there is a floating point arithmetic machine absecon round of errors uh, chopping error truncation error uh, associative and distributive law in the floating point error arithmetic inherent error error propagation numerical stability in the rules of equation we have to cover up the second method newton lapson method fixed point iteration method and for the simple rules and the derivations of their rate of the conversions attic and acceleration of conversions modified newton lapson method at the multiple rules birds by j method for the polynomial by stroke method for the quadratic factor and computer algorithm uh, of these methods that we had done in terms of unit 2 which we had started with the interpolations and the fitting where we had covered up the algorithm and the error analysis of the lagrangian the newton's divided differences in the equations uh, relationship and the various differences operator piece wise polynomial approximation length cause equalization of the power series after completing that we'll start discussing about the graph fitting and that we have to cover up the linear and the non linear least square approximation third conditioning in the least square method gram schemes process of organization computer algorithm for the least square graph fitting unit third we have to cover up the differentiation and integration in that differentiation we have to cover up the method based on the interpolations and the finite differences results and exploration integration we have to cover up the error analysis and the supposed ansonson method newton's codes of integration math and gaussian integration method first lagrange method loato integration method and radau integration method error term in the pertin integration method as well in unit 4 we have to cover up uh, that has been the solutions of the sanogenes linear algebraic equation where we have to cover up the cause elimination method conditional system conditions numbers successive and relaxation method rate of conversion in solutions of ordinary differential equation we have to cover up the single step method rangli kutta second third order method Both other method, multiple step method, predictive character method, statistical technique. We have to cover the statistical hypothesis, test of hypothesis, type one and type two errors, levels of significance, and test involving the normal distribution as well. So here we gonna end up with. It's a huge request to all the viewers to please go ahead with like, share, and subscribe our channel so that many and maximum people can get the information at once, and anyway you can also enjoy the video as well. Thank you. Hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and give a suggestion in the comment box. Thank you.